all begins. We're at the uh, boat. Uh, what island are we on? Tortola. Tortola. And we're going to uh, we're going to actually uh, take this boat for 20 minutes or so to Necker Island, and we're in the British Virgin Islands. Listen, we're pulling up to Necker Island right now. Just got off the boat in Necker Island. This is what it looks like right when you get off. This will be my third trip here, and uh, it's pretty cool. Necker Island. This is Joe Polish. Uh, this is our third trip to Necker, at least mine, uh, 2011, the first day. This is a view of the entire island. show you just how big this gluten-free thing has become now. When you first get in the Necker, here's you know some of the food they lay out for you. And gluten-free, check this out. They have gluten-free items. This didn't exist several years ago, gluten-free. Now it's an entire industry. And here comes the rest of the crew. Yep, all right. Welcome, guys. Yeah, it's good to be here, Joe. Thanks for having us, buddy. Absolutely. Thanks. Look at this. This is what I just encountered. Is this, uh, does this iguana have a name? No, we don't have a name for it. Yeah. What do you think of this, Dan? I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Wow. We had asked about that. Look at this thing. All right. I'm going to attempt to bond with this iguana, which is probably not going to happen. Actually, I used to work in a pet store a long time ago, and I used to actually have an iguana that was a little bit smaller than this. Yep. Very exciting. I'm here with uh, Kim from Maverick Business Adventures, and we have just found Kim's boyfriend. Uh, it's the uh, the iguana. And uh, she was, you know, just kind of looked for some food, and he perched himself up here. And he's like, where's Kim? Where's Kim? Now this, right now he's trying to seduce her with some sort of secret um, iguana code uh, pheromones. I don't know what's going on, because we yet, as a species, don't quite understand the communication style of this iguana between Kim. But how are you feeling right now? Pretty awesome. All right, good. So uh, there you go. Yep. Behave yourself, young man. Behave yourself. So now that I've uh, videotaped uh, an iguana, let me walk out here and show you the pool. And if you ever saw Richard Branson's show, The Rebel Billionaire, you probably remember this area because when he ended up selecting or letting everyone know who was the actual winner, this is where they did it. You probably have seen this uh, on pictures for Necker Island. Bally Beach home. This is uh, Catherine, who's been our uh, tour guide, and yep. And these are uh, all the flamingos right outside here on Necker Island. So we've got—I don't know if you can see—but we've got little nests all on the far side of the pond, and lots and lots of eggs have been laid and currently um, hatching. So we've got three birds that have hatched in the last um, two nights. Awesome. And I think it should happen just in a matter of uh, the next few days. Now, how many uh, how many flamingos are actually out there? There are almost 200. 200, yeah. wow. So, I don't know how many eggs there are at the moment. But if I wanted to take one back to Arizona, what, what's the chances of that happening? It's probably not going to happen. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't come with the Necker Island deal? They're hiding in that green lookout. Oh, yeah. He, he's yeah. out there the with binoculars and a little so video. Obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. See, here's our uh, Genius Network Mastermind and Maverick Business Adventures bags uh, because me and Yannick put on this trip.
think uh, myself pretty comfortable here for the next uh, few days.